Hmm. I am Ellie Pascal. I am a somatic soul coach. And I'm going to be giving an interview on the 24th of April. And in that interview, I'm going to be talking on the topic of reverence for the body as a path of healing. And with that in mind, I invite you to take a breath into this precious body that you live in. Perhaps give a little movement to help yourself experience it a little more viscerally. And with your next breath, to notice that which is supporting you, to let it support you a little bit more. And with your next breath, to welcome yourself exactly as you are. With all of the sensation, all of the emotion, all of the experience, the thought, the pleasure, the comfort, the discomfort, to welcome it all. My path of healing has been a good 10 years now and it's looked like me moving through conditions that could be called chronic fatigue, post-traumatic stress disorder, or for me, the umbrella experience that sits above all of it is an energetic awakening. I know that I've been awakening to my body, in my body, because this is a time on earth in which women are called to awaken and to step into our power. And often this awakening, this loosening of the physical vessel, this contacting power which has been pushed down or with the best of intention, not seen for a very long time, can look like chronic illness. As the body unfurls, as we need to have our attention drawn inwards, we can experience pain, fatigue, illness, trapped emotion. And yeah, my path has seen me view my experience through many lenses. So sometimes I understand what my body's doing in terms of trapped trauma or the release of trauma energy. Sometimes I experience a heaviness in my body which I can call chronic fatigue. Sometimes I'm simply in touch with the amazing energetic component of my experience and all of these things are true for me and it is my knowing that all humans exist on a multitude of levels and it's simply going to come down to what is true for you in terms of what it is that you need. And I've just used a lot of words, so I'm going to take a breath. And I invite you to do the same. Again, a breath of reverence into the body. So why reverence for the body as a path of healing? Because one of the most base, fundamental and beautiful paradoxes of being a human being is that what I resist persists. And what I allow, what I welcome and even celebrate if I can find a way to do this, always evolves into something else. And because the body is always giving guidance. An experience in the body can be pleasant or unpleasant, but it isn't actually good or bad. And when I notice a sensation or a symptom in my body, I 
and simply allow it to be. It can kind of unfurl and spread its wings within me and whisper the message that it has. A sensation in the body is always guidance, just in the same way that hunger is guidance or feeling cold is guidance. I'm going to put on a jumper, I'm going to eat a banana. Pain is, is guidance also, and if we can listen and if we can revere it, we step more into this wellspring of love, of self-love, which is available to us at all times. And this flow of loving, vital energy through our bodies is synonymous with healing. And, and really on a very simple level, a way to say it is, I invite you to breathe the light of allowing into where you are right now. I invite you to breathe a sense of reverence for everything that you're feeling, thinking, needing, experiencing, knowing, not knowing, loving, hating. When this happens, energy on the level of joy and integrity and love moves through us and there's a kind of um, energetic expansion which happens and this this energetic state once more this is healing and often words like this can be really really aggravating if we're in a place of dis-ease so if that's true for you i invite you to welcome the aggravation if there is frustration, is there, if there's a sense of not knowing or anger at this, to welcome that. Whenever we welcome exactly what it is that we feel, whether that be physical sensation or symptom or emotion, this is synonymous with healing. This is synonymous with being whole, which is what it means to heal. So I invite you to revere yourself. I invite you to honour this precious vessel that you live in exactly as it is now, not with the idea of when it's more well or when it's the right shape or when I'm different in any way, but now you are so perfect, so unfathomably magnificent. And... For me, I've come to this place of understanding that reverence, that self-love, that radical acceptance and welcoming is uh, vital on the path of healing. Um, for one reason, because I've spent part of my journey was two years just full-time healing practices. I spent a year with a trauma clinic that works with trauma on an energetic level. And I can hear that I've been using a lot of words at this moment, so I'm just going to take a breath into my body. And I spent a year working um, with an energy worker in Asia meditating and working with a healer and um, in this time I kindled a relationship with myself which was completely other to how it had been before. I stepped into this awareness of the, the magic that I am, of the precious creature that I am, that there's vulnerability here, that there's flesh, that there's bones, that there's cells, that there's needs, that there's fundamentally a, a person, a woman here who is always doing her best. And it was from that place of deep self-love and deep self-respect and deep self-allowing. It was those moments, whether they lasted a week or a millisecond, where the healing was happening. So the invitation is to revere yourself, sweet one. 
whether that be revering and allowing the part of you that is really resistant to that or revering that incredible being that you are in this moment. Well, all of which is always true. So that's a little bit about me, my journey, my understanding of healing. And I really look forward to connecting with you on the 24th, sharing a bit more, supporting you in your healing journey and um, yeah, answering some of your questions. See you then.